Hey, what's going on there everyone? I just wanted to make a quick video on um, my little project here. I know it's been a while since I've put out a video. It's been a lot of um, just a busy schedule basically. But I'm planning on doing more videos and putting more, you know, more footage out there. However, I needed to change my vessel. This right here was my old helmet. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty well used. This is what the camera was mounted onto um, in all those other videos. Basically, what we have here is a 3M dual lock. And basically what I used to do was I, I had a strip of dual lock here and all I did was put it on there and that's how I ran it. Now in order for me to get good audio I had to run my microphone uh, and that's what I kind of liked about this helmet was it has a compartment here you can remove this piece and there's a there's a big hole here that has a lot of room and what I did was I I shoved the um, basically a lapel mic into here and then I ran the wires through throughout the helmet made a small section maybe about this much dangle from under here and then I was able to just basically uh, plug it into this jack down here underneath the camera so I went out and I upgraded it and as you can see here is my new lid um, it is the Fox uh, V3 uh, I forgot which one it's called the V3 franchise helmet um, as you can see original price there okay so um, obviously if you see that one you know I needed the upgrade I think I had this helmet since 2011 so you know I, I figured you know what it's time to upgrade now here's the funny thing about these two helmets this one from Scorpion this is Scorpion EXO I don't remember exactly which model, but it did have the pump in here that pretty much inflates these bladders all around. Didn't really need that. It was a snug fit. But this is a double XL. Double XL. This one is an XL. And if I don't know if you can tell, but look how much bigger this helmet is from that. Crazy. However, this one is lighter than this one. Don't know why, um, materials maybe, but definitely lighter. Now this one also has the MIPS system in there. Man, I don't know if you can see it with the light that I have. That Basically that yellow thing is, if you look it up, um, it's basically, a um a, a slick surface and basically it allows your head and the helmet to to move independently and it's supposed to have some huge uh safety benefit um i hope i never have to find that out and use it but you know just in case it's here i have it um Okay, so one of my problems that I had was how in the world to mount my camera. By the way, this is the Sony uh, Action Cam um, FDR1000X. And as you can see, it shoots 4K video. Um, in my opinion, superior to the GoPro in some ways. In, in, well, in the ways that I need it to be superior. Um, the GoPro is superior in other ways, but for the way I use this camera, um, far superior. 
hands down. GoPro 4, black, platinum, doesn't matter. This one blows it away. Okay, so as you can see over here, if you look straight on on the helmet, it's pretty much um, almost straight vertical. Now if you look at this one, it kind of has like a lean to it. And so when I was looking through my um, live view remote, which by the way I love and GoPro doesn't have one, another thing that's superior to, um, that the Sony Action Cam has over the GoPro, uh, it, was, it had a huge lean and I didn't really want that. I wanted it to be more upright. So, you know, I was going through and figuring out how in the world I'm going to mount this. And plus, with the goggle strap on, I mean, there there is kind of a vertical place here. But when I put the goggles on, the strap would be in the way. So I wasn't able to use the same technique with the, with the dual lock. So what I did was... Um, the action cam comes with these these mounts that pretty much slide and and uh, lock, similar to you know the GoPro accessories, right? So right here, this is basically what it is. And so what I did was I mounted, I chose to secure it in this fashion, which this would just clip in, and I'll be good to go. Um, the problem that I had was the lapel mic had a jack like this. So first I figured how to mount it. Boom. Good to go. Ready to rock. Then I pulled this open and I was like, oh my goodness. How in the world am I going to get the jack to fit in that tiny space? There was no way. Because this is basically the room that I had. So what I needed to do was put a right angle jack. So that's what I did. I had to bust out the soldering iron and razor blade and, and I had to splice. So this is a splice. Basically I already have the lapel mic run into the front of the, the mouth guard here. I'm running it up and through here. It's gonna come out here and then basically um, the jack will mount boom right there so let's put that to the test okay sorry I'm holding holding the camera all right so basically if I can get this uh, accidentally turn it on be shooting from two angles here okay um, let me just click this in Okay, sorry about that. Okay, so boom, there you go. I'm gonna run the wire to come down in through one of these vent holes, and basically that's gonna be the setup. Well, let me just. Okay, so minus this wire sticking out, you know, just pretend that's hidden away and tucked in nice and neat. That will be my new setup. Now, I already tried it on with the goggles and everything on. This does not affect my line of sight at all. Um, I mean, a lot of you might look at it and be like, oh, no way, that's, no. It doesn't, I mean, let's, uh, Let's see if I can put you guys in it. So that's basically what I see right there. And I mean, give or take, it's kind of in the middle, but uh, to me, it's, it's a better point of view because it's centered to what I'm looking at and 
compared to this, you, you'd you always see the side of my helmet blocking one side of the screen in my previous videos. Um, the new videos that I'll be putting out, it'll have this uh, vantage point. And by the way, this clip up here sticks with a like an industrial strength um, double-sided tape that comes with all the Sony uh, accessories. Now, I don't necessarily like all the Sony mounts. I mean, I think um, they're kind of behind in that sense um, compared to the GoPro. But, I mean... <laughs> With the 3M dual lock, I could I pretty much can mount this anywhere I want to. I mean, I even have it dual locked to my um, paintball mask to get some of my paintball videos. And with the dual lock, it just sticks anywhere. So that's that's my trick for um, to you know mount this and on other surfaces or whatever. But anyway. Um, let me just talk to you real quick about the new helmet. It is, as you can see, I chose a black interior versus the white. This thing started to get discolored like in two months that I own this helmet. And washing it with detergent, stain remover, whatever, I could never get it off. I mean, it would smell clean and it just, I don't know, I mean, you know, all the road dirt coming in whatever but this helmet was good i really liked it um but i felt that you know the maintenance even this this white rubber i really didn't want the white rubber again because i mean look look what ends up to it but um i think just with the black interior alone the mip system really comfy helmet i mean unreal the comfort level then uh because it's the v3 it has way more vents uh than i guess the v2 or v1 but so when i wear this helmet i, I haven't ever worn the other fox helmets this is my first fox helmet um but it it's way more vented than this i mean this one seems like it has good ventilation but nowhere near uh I'm telling you, when I wear this helmet, it feels like I'm not wearing a helmet. Like, as far as the wind coming through, it's it's crazy. So, um, really like this uh, V3. It, you know, it's going to do the job and it's gonna hold the camera well and stay tuned for more videos coming up I know that you know we didn't get done what I said we were gonna get done in the beginning of the year but you know we're halfway through let's finish strong um, about I'm gonna definitely get on the bike and make more videos the only thing is here it's, it's wet season coming up so I'm going to take advantage of every dry opportunity to get you videos out there. Um, have a little bit more time on my hands. So uh, yeah, stay tuned. Any other questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll try and get them answered. All right, peace out.